Okay, hello and welcome to a new series called, um, what was it called? How to Basics. Uh, it's, it's gonna be a tutorial type video for different video games. But we're gonna start with 7 Days to Die. So, we're, we're gonna be talking about this, uh, this shotgun type blunderbuss that's somehow a shotgun. Uh, it falls into the shotgun category because it can kill from 1 to 3 zombies at a time. Um, so let's start out by talking about how to get the blunderbuss in general. You're going to need forged iron, which can be made in a forge easily with iron and clay. And then iron. Short iron pipes can be found or also made with clay and regular iron. See that forged iron, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and check. Glue is found i'm not sure where it can be made duct tape is made out of glue and uh uh cloth fragments and wood is found in trees so that's pretty simple yeah you know get wood so after you've officially made the blunderbuss you're going to want blunderbuss ammo which is this stuff right here it can be made with hold up let's go ahead and turn this off ammo and weapons blunderbuss ammo gunpowder is made using nitrate powder and lump of coal nitrate powder is found in these right here yeah if you look at the bottom right I am getting nitrate powder and you can also find them somewhere around here as little lumps of gravel or it looks similar to gravel and they're just really small lumps. You should be able to easy tell they're like little mounds of it. Wait, I just found 89 gunpowder there. Instead of a tree. Interesting. See, no, that's pretty interesting. Uh, after you have made the gunpowder and the blunderbuss, you should be officially good to go. So you need nitric powder, yep. So if we head all the way back to my house okay so now that I'm here at my forge we can go to let's start out with uh, just forged iron yeah you need iron and clay then for the iron pipe you need clay and iron so yeah they kinda like the same actually I think they're the exact same recipe yeah they are so yeah, that's what you need for the um, for the wonder bus, as well as uh, there's this thing where uh, you, short iron pipes can also be found in ovens, I I believe. Oh, they broke down my door. Oh, they just showed this as well. Yeah, I had a huge bunch of zombies come over here uh, a little bit ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. I'm pretty sure you get pipes from these ovens. Um, and they can easily be taken apart faster with the wrench. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. Yeah, over here, oven. Pretty sure that if you fully break it, you get a pipe. Yeah, fill it. Look in the bottom right, I just got a pipe. Keep breaking it, I should get another pipe. Yep, yep, that's another pipe. So that is a real simple way to get some good stuff. Blunderbuss is actually really useful, believe it or not. Even have some gameplay footage of me using it. It, it honestly ain't bad. Besides it being really, it's actually pretty fast to reload. I mean that ain't bad if they think this is slow reload they've never played Call of Duty so yeah anyway that'll be it for this how to basics tutorial on the blunderbuss just subscribe because I said so or else I delete your minecraft account